When I first started doing the Food Lovers Fat Loss Program, I realized that I had been making weight loss way harder than it needed to be. Once I learned a little bit about how my metabolism works and how my body processes the food I eat, then I realized that I could really use all my favorite foods, all the foods I was already eating to speed up my metabolism and burn off the excess fat. The real key was understanding how my body metabolizes carbohydrates. I had heard that carbs made me fat, but I love carbs and I wasn't willing to give them up. Well, as it turns out, I didn't have to. See, there are two kinds of carbs. Slow carbs, that's greens, most veggies, certain fruits, and fast carbs. The ones I love and was unwilling to give up are these, the fast carbs. That's things like bread, pasta, sweets, even beer and wine. And they can cause you to gain weight if you eat them the wrong way, but they don't have to. Let me show you what I mean. This is a typical day's worth of food, not unlike what my family and I ate before I started the plan. Waffles for breakfast, a sandwich for lunch, and a meatloaf dinner. But the problem with these meals is they don't have the right ratio of fast carbs to protein and slow carbs. Let's take a look at breakfast. It's essentially all fast carbs. And that means it has the tendency to elevate my blood sugar levels. And that puts my body into fat storing mode, basically telling it to store everything I eat as fat. And that was happening at almost every meal. What I learned on Food Lovers was I didn't have to give up any of these meals. I just had to tweak the proportions so that I had the right balance of protein and slow carbs with my fast carbs to even out my blood sugar levels and move my body into fat burning mode. It was that easy. And I didn't have to give up anything. I could still have a sandwich for lunch and my family's favorite meatloaf for dinner. But I just had to tweak the proportions and ratios to turn them into a fat loss plate. And then those very same meals will even out my blood sugar levels and cause my body to burn fat rather than store it. Then I learned one other thing, and this was really hard for me to get my head around since I had been a chronic dieter. It turns out I wasn't eating often enough. See, when you go a long time without eating, like I did between meals and in the evening, your blood sugar drops and your body thinks it's starving. Putting your body once again into fat storing mode at the bottom here. So what did I do? I adjusted my eating schedule and started snacking in between meals and into the evening. Now my blood sugar levels stay even, keeping my body in fat burning mode all day long. It was that easy. You really can eat all your favorite foods and reduce your waistline every single week.